Incarcerated Citizens, Know Your Voting Rights, narrated by Richard Garland, brought to you by the League of Women Voters of Greater Pittsburgh and BPEP. Are you a citizen who feels you are not eligible and cannot vote, or are you a citizen who has never registered to vote? We have information for you. If you are an incarcerated citizen, learn if you can vote. Know your worth. Part one, who can register and vote? Pre-trial detainees, if you are incarcerated while awaiting trial on charges of a misdemeanor or, or a felony, you may register and vote. Misdemeanors, if you are incarcerated for or ever convicted of misdemeanors, you may register and vote. Parole or probation. If you are on probation or are released on parole, including in halfway houses, whether you were convicted of a misdemeanor or a felony, you may register and vote. House arrest. If you are under house arrest while awaiting trial or after conviction of a misdemeanor or a felony, you may register and vote. Return to a penal institution on a parole violation. If you are returned to a penal institution on a parole violation, one, and are convicted of a technical violation, you may register and vote. Two, and are convicted of a misdemeanor, you may register and vote. Three, but are not convicted of a new felony charge, you may register and vote. Four, and are registered and charged with a felony, but have status of pre-trial detainee, you may register and vote. Just a few reasons why you may not register or vote while incarcerated for a felony. One, if you are currently incarcerated for a felony and will still be incarcerated on election day. Two, if you are not if you are in a halfway house or alternative correctional facility on pre-release status for conviction of a felony and will still be confined on election day. Note, voting is not allowed for four years after conviction of a felony violation of any provision of the PA election code. If any of the above apply to you, you may not register to vote or vote, but remember the rule. When your feet hit the street, you can register and vote. Know the facts. With only a few exceptions, most PA citizens are eligible to vote. And yes. To be eligible, you must also meet the qualifications every Pennsylvania citizen must meet to be eligible to register and vote. One, you have been a U.S. citizen for at least one month before the next election. Two, you have lived in Pennsylvania and in your election district for at least 30 days before the next election. Three, you will be at least 18 years of age on or before the day of the next election. Now, let's figure out how to register to vote, to vote and complete the, an absentee or mail-in ballot application. Part two, completing the voter registration application. First, am I registered to vote or not? If you have previously registered to vote, find out if your registration is still listed as active. Go to vote.pa.gov. Allegheny County Elections Office, call 412-350-4500. Not in Allegheny County? In PA, call area code one. 717-787-5280. Not in PA? Go to vote.org. If your registration is listed as inactive or is not listed, you will need to file these instructions to register to vote before the registration deadline. Next, what address do I register to vote? Important, register to vote using your home address and not the address of the institution in which you are incarcerated. 
You may use the penal institution or halfway house to get your mail, but you must not use these locations when you register to vote. If you are registered to vote before confinement and it is your last known address, use that address. Or if you have never registered to vote, use your last known address before confinement. Or if a new residence was established while you were confined, use that address. For example, if your spouse moves to a new address where you intend to live when you are released. Applying with a printed application. Complete, completing the printed application in PA. Couple questions. Do you have PA driver's license or a PennDOT ID or the last four digits of your social security number? Only one form of ID is needed. If you need help getting valid ID documents, go to voteriders.org. Go to vote.pa.gov to download and print the application or call elections office at 412-350-4500. Did you choose a party? In a general election, any registered voter may vote for any candidate on the ballot. However, Pennsylvania primaries are closed, allowing only members of the two major parties, Democratic or Republican, to choose the candidates who will be on the general election ballot. When you register to vote, you may enroll in a party that allows you to vote in the primary. And any registered voter may vote in any election, including a primary. If there is a ballot question, constitutional amendment, or a special election. This is about line by line instructions for online or printed voter registration application in PA. New from the PA Department of State, if you are registering to vote for the first time or are changing your voter registration information, you can also apply for a mail in ballot on the same online or printed voter registration application. Note, key change, make sure you sign or check the declaration that is on page one of the old form, but on page two of the new form. You can still apply separately for a mail-in or absentee ballot at vote.pa.gov. Details on the following slide. Returning your printed voter registration ballot application. If you live in Allegheny County after completing the printed registration application, mail it to the Allegheny County Elections Office, 542 Forbes Avenue, room 312, Pittsburgh, PA, 15219-2913. Problems? Home address in Allegheny County, call 412 412- 350-4500. Home address in Pennsylvania, but not Allegheny County? Call area code 1-877-868-3772. Out of state home address, go to vote.org. Continue applying online at vote.pa.gov. Completing the online application in PA, do you have a Pennsylvania driver's license or PennDOT-ID? Or, this is new, you can also use the last four digits of your social security number, but you will have to upload your signature. Only one form of ID is needed. If you need help getting valid ID documents, go to voteriders.org. Electronic registration for any state where you are a legal resident. www.turbovote.org Routed to your state's voter portal. Receive text or email reminders. Ready? PA voter registration card. In about three weeks after you registered to vote, this official looking envelope will arrive in your mail and inside you'll find your voter registration card. 
Remember to look for it. If you don't receive your ID card in three weeks, contact your county election office at Allegheny County Elections Office 412-350-4500. Not in Allegheny County? Call every code 1-717-787-5280. Part 3. How do I vote by mail? Voting with a no-excuse mail-in ballot was upheld on August 2nd, 2022 by the PA Supreme Court as a valid method of voting. Voting by absentee ballot has remained unchanged as a way to vote if you will be absent from your polling place on election day. To vote by mail. If you are going to vote with a absentee or mail-in ballot, you must complete the application. Apply for absentee or mail-in ballot. Call 1-877-868-3772 for printed application. Also, information in Espanol and other languages. Online at vote.pa.gov or at your state's voter registration portal, vote.org for any state. Timeline for absentee or mail-in ballots in Pennsylvania. Apply now. Apply with printed form or online for absentee or no excuse mail-in ballots. Pennsylvania deadline to apply, November 1st, 2022 by 5 p.m. But don't wait. Answer no to three questions online to receive mail-in ballot. About six weeks before election, absentee mail-in ballots mailed to voters. As soon as received, complete and return absentee mail-in ballot. November 8, 2022 by 8 p.m. Deadline for elections office to receive absentee mail-in ballots. Postmarks do not count. This is about line-by-line instructions for online or printed absentee or mail-in ballot applications in PA. Find these instructions in the Voter Resource Library at www.lvvpgh.org. Click on the mail-in voting shortcut. I know I said Part four, make a plan to vote. Nonpartisan candidate information. Go to www.vote411.org. League of Women Voters website. Candidate information, sample ballot. Registered if you are from any state. Route it to your state's voter portal. Receive LWV email or rock the vote reminders. Vote. You matter. Your vote matters. Your voice matters. Voting makes your voice heard in one way that affects real change. By resulting in the election of officials who make the policies and laws that affect us all. If you care about your issues, then claim your power and vote. Every election counts. You count. Here are your sources and resources. Contributors, a judicially concerned citizen, League of Women Voters of Greater Pittsburgh, LWBPGH, Black Political Empowerment Project, BPET, Operation Better Block supporters, Elsinore Benu. Inform voters, power America. Thank you for watching.